Hello, good morning. It's Saturday, the 16th of February 2019, 0435 hours Greenwich Mean Time. This is MB04, the first jaunt to Hereford in 2019. I think you can see the issue. Actually, it's just drizzle. But, you know, eh, it's not supposed to drizzle. Uh, weather forecast, weather radar says it isn't drizzling. It is drizzling. Anyway, with a bit of luck and a following wind, uh, this will not only be recorded in 4K, but uploaded to YouTube in 4K. Well, that's the plan anyway. Um, next stop, Travel Lodge, Hereford. And I've arrived. And the rain has stopped. And lorries that come right up your tailgate. Ha. Huh. Anyway, looks like there's a crane over there, those two red lights. This is where I shall be staying tonight. And park by there. Okay, um, going that way, past Sainsbury's, need to visit that um, somewhat a little bit later. And time currently three minutes past six, slightly early. But hey, what the hell? So early. Hello, slightly light over there. And there's the ball. We call him Big Call. And there's Costa Coffee. Bacon rolls. And we're back. Fruit juice to start. And then. Maybe use a voucher before the beer house. The house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, inside the comic I remember was called Queensfield. Nice carpet. Uh, sitting here because you can see the telly and it's still got good reception. This is Snow White by Castle Rock Brewery, 4.2% alcohol by volume. They say the fairest of them all. It is quite pale and fair. Uh, 149 with a Wellspoons voucher. Excellent. Mm. Um, malty, nicely bitter, well balanced. Very drinkable. I'm saying B plus in a bit. I'm really pleased with that. The world famous. Well, I think it is actually. Head for beer house. Ventilated. And I can see Amelie in there. It's not quite 10 o'clock yet. We got. 70 seconds, so a couple of pictures before we go in. Wall to wall, Tony Rebel. Hey. Anyway, number one, which is also number one on the board, is from Tiny Rebel. A magic rock. What a combination. Citra Session IPA, 4% alcohol by volume. Lovely flooring, Mr. Manning. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, it's fruity. It's sharp. A little bit tart. It's got everything. A minus. Easily A minus. Lab number two. Four pure. We're part of the Bermondsey Mile. Well worth going to see, although they're on an industrial estate, not underneath the arches. This is a double dry hop pulsner, 5% alcohol by volume, obviously with the tiny Rebel Brothers. Hmm. And there's a cinema across the road where you can buy your drinks here and take them over. 
Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. Sharp. Bitter. And as Pilsner, I can't even say it, as Pilsners go, I don't recognise that as a Pilsner, but you get in a little bit of the malt. I'm going to say B++. Number three, and it's a bit solid. It's 8% alcohol by volume. Tiny Rebel with the Eastie Boys who are Antipodean, which means I can't remember if they're from Australia or New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand, thank you, voice is off, much appreciated. <laughs> Pomegranate and molasses Belgian strong ale. Nice flowers. Mmm, solid aroma. Mmm, fruity, strong, nice bitter fruity finish. Ah, B. Really good. I feel some peanuts coming. Number four with a side order of nuts, which I like. Neon Raptor Tropical Sorbet IPA. Does that say tart? Yes. Thank you. Tart IPA, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Mmm, it's aroma. Oh, it's tart, but it's lovely. It's really good. Fruity, sharp. Tart. A minus. Really, really. I could be drinking a pint of this, not a third. However, the day is young. Number five. Uh, this one is with Daya. Uh, New England IPA, 6.8% alcohol by volume. Big sort of fruit bomb aroma. Mm. It's got that New England yeasty taste. It's a big plus plus, and it's really, really, really nice. And the sun is out. Wow. The last of the draft was Siren. Dark cherry and chocolate barley wine. They only sell it in thirds. Of crisps. Mm, smells boozy. Mm. Oh, it's a sipper, but it's nice. Just getting the cherry a little bit of chocolate, but mainly booze. I think the chocolate's in the finish. Not bad at all. <laughs> all the way with the US of A Cigar City Brewing. Oh, happy memories. Mainly of Hutton Garden and the craft beer co. This is Invasion Traffic. Start again. This is Invasion Tropical Pale Ale. 5% alcohol by volume. 50 IBUs and I think this can conditioned. Well, there we go. Aroma, gentle, my nose is still rubbish. Mm. Fruity, slightly sour, only a touch. Nice bitterness. That's B plus in a bit. Thank you. 
Two roads, as in one, two roads, zero to sixty, tart LPA, six percent alcohol by volume. The house glass. I went with the cat truck. If I were a clash of the road, I'd be a truck at the building. Gentle aroma. Are they wearing wheels with us? Fortune tart, sour. He says it in the camera. That's a fruit beer. I don't know, I'm thinking B plus plus. Yeah, B plus plus. From Amsterdam, Oedipus Brewing. I'm assuming it's Oedipus Brewing, just said Oedipus. Solar Session IPA. 4.5% alcohol by volume, and it says here a great beer to drink whilst it says while I said whilst I'm naked on the beach. It's February, we didn't know we were naked on the beach in February, and there's no beach in. Hereford. However, let's will try. Smells fruity. Mm. <laughs> it's like a, a diva IPA. A little bit more bitter. And give it B plus plus because it's a medium bitterness. And this is my last. That's off to the Dutch Netherlanders. 